Hey guys, Ray Salvo here with another video and today we're going to be discussing keyword research specifically on YouTube and with the Chrome extension TubeBuddy. So if you are looking on how to rank your videos on YouTube and how to perform all of the preliminary work ahead of time to outrank your competitors and to find the keywords where your videos are going to serve, check out the video and let me know what your thoughts are. Let's dive in. All right, so there are a couple tools out there that are free and there are some paid versions as well. The first one I'm going to dive in to is actually a pretty common Chrome extension. It's called TubeBuddy. It does a lot of things like channel management, keyword research, some templates for your videos. If you're active on YouTube, I would highly recommend to check it out as there's a ton of features available. But the context that we are going to be looking at today is primarily keyword research. If you guys are interested in learning more about the tool as a whole, let me know and I can explain in depth the other features of TubeBuddy. But for today's video, we're strictly going to focus on keyword research. So. Inside TubeBuddy, if you have the Chrome extension installed, and literally all you have to do is go to their website, sign up for an account, and then install the Chrome extension, all you have to do is go to YouTube, and there's a section on here for TubeBuddy, and you can select Keyword Explorer. And what that does is it gives you some ideas of what the competitive landscape looks like from the search results page on YouTube, and more specifically, how competitive it is, how much search volume there is, and it takes in different sources. I'm not sure if it sources Google Keyword Planner at all from Google Ads, um, which we'll be diving into in a minute, but it may take some pieces from there. But let's say I'm going to make a video on mortgage lending. I'm just throwing, throwing a topic out there. So if I type in mortgage lending, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show me the overall score. So it's saying how many views my video tends to get. So if I was a mortgage lending channel and I was in that niche, it would show me exactly how it thinks I would rank compared to that. But the really cool and powerful stuff is it shows you the search volume, the competition and it's weighted. So it shows you how well this keyword is going to perform based on other channels with search volume, competition, relevancy, and then how we compare to those channels and then optimization strength. So there's different metrics in here on how title tags, it takes like how well the other competitors are optimizing their videos from a YouTube SEO perspective. So it shows you how, how optimized that space is. But the, the most powerful tool in my opinion here is all of the related keywords. So mortgage lending is a pretty broad keyword in the keyword space. Um, typically if you're a newer channel or if you're looking to generate um, views on a niche target that, on a niche um, market I'm sorry that has a ton and ton of search volume you're normally better off to go to a longer tail keyword so if we go to lending exam NMLS there may be a different market there and while there may not be as much search volume there we're gonna have a higher chance to rank in the in the SERPs because there's less people in the space. So my challenge, what I typically look for, is a tag that has decent search volume, the competition isn't crazy, and there's a ton of opportunity for me to optimize that keyword. So let's see if we can find one real quick for a good example. That one had lower search volume, but like Mortgage Lending 101. Simply adding the word 101, still again, low, low search volume, so not, not a great one. Um, but it shows you exactly on YouTube from a video search perspective how it thinks um, we will do based on the search volume out there. So my recommendation when you're doing your keyword research from a title perspective, see how there's a little bit more search volume here, is to lean towards the longer tail keywords instead of just calling your, your video mortgage lending or instead of um, making your entire video around mortgage lending, Put, put stuff in there like explanation, put that information inside the description, make sure if you do closed captions, you include a lot of um, explanation in your video. So simply including an additional word may result in lower search volume. However, if somebody goes out to the YouTube SERPs and they search for mortgage lending, it's gonna give you a higher chance to rank. So keep that in mind when doing that type of um, research. And the other really big tool that I like to use here is from a trends perspective, which we'll talk about Google Trends later. You can go to the trends and it'll show you the different types of keywords that are um, going across the board. So if I go back to trends here, 
it's showing me all of these different um, related queries that are rising currently and then top related queries. So pay off mortgage is one of the top related queries across the board. And then here are rising queries um, that have happened over the past 12 months. So just more information to think about when doing this type of research. And it's just really powerful because selecting the right keywords is paramount to make sure your video ranks, it's seen, and people are engaging with your content. Because if you're just making videos and it's great content, but you're not targeting the right keywords from a title perspective, keyword perspective, tag perspective, no one's gonna see it and all of your hard work's gonna go right out the window. So I highly, highly recommend you check out this TubeBuddy um, Chrome extension. There is a free version and then there are a couple paid um, tiers as well. Um, but highly recommend you check it out. I don't know if the keyword research um, in, in the limited version, I have the pro version, the limited version um, is available and free. So you get some of the data, but you're not going to get all of this data that I'm getting right now, unless you have an upgraded version. So um, try it out for free, see how it works for you. And then you can always move on from there. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to talk about here briefly is Keyword Planner. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts, guys, on TubeBuddy specifically. I found it very helpful when performing keyword research on YouTube. There's a ton of other features out there that YouTube um, has specifically with TubeBuddy where you're able to perform a lot of competitor research. Um, but I found this tool extremely helpful when planning for my own videos and just seeing what the landscape looks like out on the SERPs on YouTube. So if you guys want to check it out, here's the website, TubeBuddy.com, or I'll have a link down in my description. Let me know. Um, but I'll be covering more TubeBuddy stuff in the future as I just feel it's a very powerful tool and I think you can get a lot of value for, from it if you're looking to build your YouTube channel. So that's all I have today, guys. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Thanks. Bye.